hi guys welcome to my lab today i will show you the polarity test of a transformer if you love my video please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends let's switch on this is a 230 volt by 1202 volt 1.5 ampere deck type center tap transformer we will test the polarity of this transformer i have already shown the parts construction and voltage measurement of the transformer in previous video. These red wires are the primary winding terminals and these are the secondary winding terminals. We will take 24 volt output from this two blue wire and the center tap terminal that means the green wire is ignored. Before performing the experiment let's discuss what is the polarity of a transformer. Assume there are two DC voltage source of 10 volt and 6 volt respectively and we know that polarity of a DC source is always constant. Now if these two sources are connected in series as shown in figure then the total voltage will be 16 volt. This connection may be called additive polarity. Now if these two sources are connected in opposite to each other as shown in figure then we will get 4 volt as resultant cause the two sources opposes each other. This connection is called subtractive polarity. If the two sources are connected like this, then also resultant voltage will be 4 volt as same as earlier. This is an AC source. AC source don't have any particular polarity. Current direction changes in every half cycle, so polarity also change alternatively. There are two AC source, S1 of 20 volt and S2 of 15 volt. They are connected in series. If the voltmeter reads 35 volt as resultant, then we can say that the sources are connected in additive polarity and the sources can be marked like this. Now if the voltmeter shows 5 volt as resultant voltage of the two source S1 and S2 then we can say that the sources are connected in subtractive polarity and they can be indicated as zone in figure. Now this is a transformer primary voltage is 230 volt AC and secondary voltage is 24 volt AC. We can represent the primary voltage and secondary voltage as two separate AC voltage source. Now the two windings are connected in series as shown in figure. The primary voltage is measured VA, secondary voltage is measured VB and the resultant of the two voltage is measured VC. If VC is equals to VA plus VB then we can say this is the additive polarity and if VC is equals to VA minus VB then we can say this is a subtractive polarity. In additive polarity, we can represent the transformer like this. And in subtractive polarity, we can represent the transformer like this. First of all, we have to connect one terminal from primary and one from secondary as shown in figure. Now the primary winding is connected with supply main. Let's measure the primary voltage that means VA and it is 220 volt and the secondary voltage that means VB is 26 volt. Now let's measure the resultant voltage that means VC is 250 volt. From this test we can conclude that this transformer is in additive polarity and we can mark the transformer like this negative this is positive again this is negative and this is positive across the red wires voltage is 220 volt and across the two blue wire voltage is 26 volt and the resultant voltage between red and blue wire is 250 volt we can also mark the transformer using dot instead of plus sign like this. In LED polarity of transformer the phase sequence of primary and secondary side is same and in subtractive polarity of transformer the phase sequence of primary and secondary side is inverse to each other. This polarity test is most important and mandatory for parallel operation of two or more transformer. Stay tuned with us. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.